Today I'm going to talk about the difference between meshes and scene instancing. So I have this little example here of uh, points in a sphere and this default OBJ we are loading and then we basically clone this default mesh on this sphere points. And um, I have the same thing, almost the same thing here. So we again load this OBJ. We have just points on this field, but then we repeat the mesh on points and create a new mesh with a lot of new vertices and faces. And then we draw the single mesh. And if we switch between these, they look completely the same. Um, maybe there is one difference. So I disable the culling here. So now they look really the same. So why is this relevant? So to start with, this is slightly more efficient because it needs less memory on the GPU. So this is a, is a super big mesh, but um, this is much smaller, of course. So we have uh, 100 points. So this buffer here is 100 times the size than this buffer. And so uploading it once will take a while. If you animate this, this will have some performance impacts. For most of the time, Drawing these meshes is much more performance critical than actually getting them on a GPU. So um, most of the time this is just fine. Um, however, the, the lower solution here uh, allows you to do some very nifty things. So uh, let's take this here and let's pin this output there. And then now we can do something like um, displace mesh. And let's animate this here with the time. And maybe we slow this down a little bit and increase the like the uh, this amount here. And now we see, okay, like we have this, uh, I don't know what you call this, this uh, ball of something. Now, if we would do, want to do the same thing up there, we can't because like the scene things are drawing calls to GPU, but you can't modify the things after you actually do them. So you uh, everything to modification has to be on the left side and there is nothing on the left side. So um, if we would add the same thing here, so we draw uh, or we displace the mesh, let's pin this here, let's quickly uh, also pipe this into a time, we see how this looks completely different because now the distorted mesh is being replicated 100 times, but it's always the same distortion. So sometimes this might be what you want, then instancing is just the way to go. Sometimes it might not. So one nifty thing about the second thing is that you can apply uh, and chain various mesh transformation operations. So for instance, now we have, uh, we displaced this mesh, but you could also do something like uh, project uh, the a new UV transforms um, to this mesh. And now if we set a material and we create this linear uh, linear gradient here and we use this as a default material and pipe this as an output, we see how we have now this uh, zebra stripes on there. And now if we would go in here and say, oh, maybe we want to have, um, we want to make this fully transparent and Maybe we can also uh, use alpha clipping here. We see that we now can slice through this geometry. So this is like super um, performance uh, heavy, but um, it's working. And sometimes it's just fine to do something like this. So um, there you have it. Yeah, you can create complex geometry by repeating at points. And of course you can combine these, uh, these meshes and uh, apply modifications, or you can instance the same thing at various positions without modifications. So I hope this clarifies some things. If you have more questions, join us on Discord. Um, yeah, we are listening. I'm gonna see you there. See you tomorrow, bye.